Hi everyone, Edge here, and uh, today we're talking about the Linksys Wireless Print Server WPS111 version 3.1. And why are we talking about this uh, print server? Well, it's because it's kind of old. It's a parallel port print server. I currently have it hooked up to an old, uh, not very old, but it's a LaserJet 2100TN. Now, some people who know this printer would ask, why would you have this hooked up to a wireless print router, or I'm sorry, print server, when it has a JetDirect card already in here, hence the N in the 2100TN? Well, it's because I don't want to have to run a cable across that door there. I've already got some going inside the closet. I don't necessarily need them going all the way through the closet, back around, and over to this. So, I connected it to my Linksys print, uh, print server, which I've had laying in the closet for the last couple of years. Why has it been in the closet? Well, because everything I've been finding has said that it's uh, not possible to make this thing work with Windows 7. However, I found a way to do it, and it's super easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. All right, so here we go. We're on the Asus EPC 1005 PEB. Uh, I'm running a Windows 7 Home Premium on here. And uh, so we're going to use this computer to show how we're going to connect up to that wireless print server. So you're just going to go over here to your devices and printers. Once in devices and printers, uh, it's going to come up with your, uh, hopefully, a list of any printers you may already have connected. Um, I have one. I have a Kodak ESP7 that's connected. So I want to go here to add a printer. We're going to add a network wireless or Bluetooth printer. And then as it's searching for available printers, we're going to uh, tell it to stop. And then we're going to select the printer that I want isn't listed. Then we're going to say add a printer using a TCP IP address or host name. Now hopefully you already know what the TCP IP address or host name is of your printer. Now um, I know what the IP address is on my network it's 192.168.1.34 and we then say next and see how fast that was now it says custom for device type we're gonna say custom and go to settings and here's the trick you could leave the port name alone leave the printer name or IP address alone for protocol choose LPR and for your LPR settings Q name, I name it LaserJet. You can do SNMP status enabled if you want to. Um, the WPS 11 uses SNMP, um, so I just go ahead and enable it anyway. Click OK. Click Next. And now it's, it's retrieving a list of all devices because it doesn't really know what the device is. Not a problem. We know. We know that it's an HP LaserJet. So we'll select HP from the drop to, from the list here. We will scroll down until we get to LaserJets. And uh, I've only seen the 2100 series once. And I don't know how it happened on one of my computers. Uh, all the other Windows 7 computers I have, they, all, they don't show the 2100. They will only show the LaserJet 2200 series PCL5. And guess what? It works. Now we're going to go ahead and name it uh, HP LaserJet 2100, only because I'm anal like that. And we'll get rid of the, well, it doesn't matter. We can leave PCL5 on there. It's, I'm cool with that. And now it says ins installing printer. It's literally that easy. So everywhere else on the Internet, I looked. And I looked for a good couple of hours. There were no instructions anywhere about how to do this. Um, all indications um, for me was that it, it wasn't going to work. So I literally just sat here and messed around with it until I found a way to make it work. Now I'm going to go ahead and print a test page. Let's see what happens. It says a test page has been sent to the printer. And guess what? I don't know if you can hear that. But there's the printer. And there it is. There's the test page. So, that's all it takes to get your Windows 7 PC working 
with the Linksys WPS 11 print server and a laser jet. So I guess, you know, maybe, uh, maybe the fact that it's a laser jet, I don't know. But for whatever reason, it works. Um, so there you have it. Um, hope this helps. Hope it works for you. And uh, as always, edge out.